doing an empties video. Um, this is my first empties video that I've ever done, so I hope you guys will like it. If you do, you know, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you guys like these. Um, I've gotten a few requests to do some. Um, so yeah, I, I really don't have much because usually when I finish up a product, I immediately throw it out. But if you guys want to see more of these, let me know. Um, so basically I'm going to show with you guys what I've been using um, for makeup, skincare, candles, and like, you know, teas and stuff um, for the past couple of months. And if I would repurchase them or not. So the first thing is a body spray from Claire's. And I believe I got this for like two, three dollars. It was on, you know, clearance or whatever. Um, it has similar packaging to the uh, Victoria's Secret ones, and it had, you know, four fluid ounces. So it took me a little while to use it all. Um, I really did like the smell. It just didn't last long on my skin or my clothes or anything like that. So I probably would not repurchase this, even if it was like a dollar or two dollars. Um, I personally just prefer either the Victoria's Secret or um, Bath and Body Works body sprays. Um, the next thing is this Oxy uh, Maximum Action Spot Treatment. I go through these like crazy. My face has been breaking out a lot lately and I'm not exactly sure why. I've been eating healthier and exercising more, taking better care of my skin, and I still have been working out. I guess it's just trying to get all that nasty out of my skin or something. But this is the only at like spot treatment that actually works on my skin. That A actually works and B does not break me out worse. Um it's got ten percent benzoyl peroxide, so I mean it's got quite a bit of that in there. And I just put it on the spots where I need it, and, you know, I can tell a big difference within, you know, 12 hours or so. And I think it's supposed to do in, like, 8 or 4 to 8 hours or something, whatever. But, um, I really like this for spot cleaning, spot cleaning, for spot treatment. And I finished up my Aveeno Clear Complexion Foaming Cleanser as well. Um, it's supposed to clear your skin, even it out, and prevent breakouts. Oh, this, I've already repurchased. I love this, so, yeah. Um, this one is, you know, all natural, and it's made with uh, some sort of mushrooms. I don't really, I think it's shiitake mushrooms or something. I don't know. But it's oil free, doesn't clog your pores, soap free and hyperallergenic and my nose is itchy. Um, I do like this. The only thing is that it really didn't kind of even out my skin. It didn't, I mean it cleaned pretty good. Um, I would not repurchase this because I spent like $12 on this and I can just get the Mary Kay kind for about that price. So, um, I think I'm going to stick with Mary Kay for now because I used this for a while and I really didn't see much difference with my skin. Um, like I said, you know, my skin's been breaking out pretty badly, so I have, it's probably because I've switched to a new regimen, but even when I was on this, it didn't really help me at all, so. Um, it was, it was nice, and it kind of gave my skin a fresh feeling to it, but it just, you know, it, as for preventing breakouts and clearer skin, you know, it didn't really help that much. They're so loud. Anyway, the next thing is the Neutrogena Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover. I am in love with this stuff. Um, uh, the only thing is that it says no oily residue, which is completely wrong because it is kind of oily. So I do have to go over with a toner after this. But this gets off all my makeup, waterproof eyeliner, waterproof mascara, waterproof God knows what else. Like this takes everything off. And especially around my nose area, I have a really hard time of getting makeup off for, you know, obvious reasons and stuff. Um, 
because I have like a little dent there and then it's basically just it just loves me so um this really does take off every ounce of makeup would I repurchase this yes because I already have so I'm in love with this and um Neutrogena just makes really good skin stuff, so I'm very happy. Um, the next thing is the Urban Decay All Night Long Lasting Makeup Spray. And this is just a little sample size that I got. Um, honestly, it did not hold my makeup. Um, I'm glad that it was a sample size because if I had bought the full version and used it and then had the same result, I would have been pissed. Um, I don't like this at all. I think the Motive setting spray works a lot better and it's a lot cheaper. Um, I believe Mary Kay even has one that's cheaper. So I would not recommend this. Now this may work better for other people or other skin types or whatever. Um, I have combination sensitive acne prone awesome skin. So um, yeah I just you know I just didn't like this and I just I it actually if anything it made my makeup kind of like settle in the lines and you know I followed directions I didn't like spray it this close I did like the 8 to 10 inches away from your face so I don't know I just don't like it um the next thing are some foundations I finally used up um this one is the all May TLC truly lasting color one and as you can see there's still a bit in there but I just do not like that like it and it just got disgusting like it got messy and I don't even know how this stuff got up on here um it's a pump formula so it pumps out but it did not it was like having a BB cream and it was that like that kind of coverage and it separated too like you can see I don't know if you guys can see but there's like oil on the top and then the foam and I was just like no honey no and of course it was I think this was the lightest shade that they had and it was still too dark um 16 hours my ass um but yeah this no it was terrible now this one is a different story this is the Revlon color stay 24 hour makeup and this is in one tin ivory. This stuff I really, really like. And I actually just used it up um, about, you know, earlier in my, er, uh, one of my earlier videos that I just did. Um, which will be up after this probably. But um, I love this stuff. It is very comparable to the MAC foundation. Like they are, it's a really, really close dupe. And it lasts all day, makes my skin look good, and covers up blemishes. And, um... It's a medium to full coverage foundation, so you do need a little bit of concealer. Um, but, you know, if you don't really have that much, you know, problem areas, you probably don't need concealer. Unlike me, I need concealer to save my life. Um, and it's for normal to dry skin. Like I said, I have combination, but, you know, the, I prefer to use the, the normal to dry skin one just because it just works better on my skin. I don't know. It's just weird. But I really like that, and I will be repurchasing this. The next two things are concealers, and the first one is the Rimmel Match Perfection Skin Tone Adapting Concealer, the two in one concealer and highlight. I love this. Um, I use this in um, my concealer uh, video, I talked about it. But it's really good. It covers up, you know, dark circles. I basically use it for the dark circles under my eyes because it gets in all the little crevices that I have. And it also has a bit of a shimmer, so it can be a really good highlight. And I also highlight my face with it as well. I will repurchase this. Um, this is in 125 Fair. It was a little... Well, I mean, it's like the same color as my skin, but I would have liked it to be a little bit lighter. But, um... I don't think that they have anything lighter. Yeah, they don't have anything lighter. 
because it has like the foundation shades and then the concealer shades. Yeah, they don't have anything lighter. But um, if you guys know of any like super super light concealers, um, let me know down below because I have the Glamouflage and Ultra Light. Um, and then there's one in hard from Hard Candy that's like that almost looks white. Um, but if you guys know like a really really uh, pale pale, I'm talking pale concealer that, um, isn't, you know, gonna break the bank, um, let me know in the comments below. And also, I use the Rimmel Hide the Blemish Concealer Stick, and I actually had depotted it because I don't really like the stick stuff, so I can just use my brush, um, but this stuff is really good, it hides, uh, everything really. Um, it's just a really, really good concealer, and it has a nice consistency. It's not too thick, it's not too thin, um, and it's just really, really good, and it covers. So, I would definitely purchase this again. Uh, the next thing, kind of boring, hand sanitizer. Um, I'm obsessed with hand sanitizers, and my hands have been, like, killing me for it because I use it a lot because I don't like being sick. I'm like, I got too much stuff to do. I got too much on my plate. I don't need to be sick. So, it, I just, I'm always putting hand sanitizer on, and so I've gone through about seven or eight of these, but I just got one to show you guys. Um, the next thing is a candle, and I... I'm so in love with this that I'm just really sad that I used it all up. But this is the um, Woodwick candle from, and it's starfruit and kiwi. I got this from Kohl's, and it was about twenty dollars, which is about the same as a um, Bath and Body Works candle. But what I really liked about it is it had the wooden wick. Maybe you can see it. I don't know, but um. Oh my god, it smells so good. It's just such a good fragrance and it, like it makes the whole entire room smell absolutely amazing within like 10 seconds. Like you light it, boom, ha the whole house smells so good. So I might keep this jar because it's a really sturdy good jar and I could probably use it to store like q-tips or cotton balls or something with it you know, store something in it, but I really, really love these candles, and I think I'm going to get some more, um, and they have, you know, that kind of crackling sound to it, which I really liked, um, because it crackles, it burns, as so it says, and, god, it just smells so good, it's just, oh, I loved it, and um, so, that, and the last item is tea, um, I've been drinking this peppermint tea, a lot um, late at night to help me sleep. Um, I've been trying really hard to stay away from sodas and caffeine, so this is caffeine free. And I've been trying to drink it at night when I can't sleep. I have really, really bad insomnia, and I take about three different medications to help me sleep. And nine times out of ten, they don't work. So um, this stuff is really great. It helps like soothe you and calm you down and it knocks me out. Um, so I'm really needing to get more of this. I know chamomile tea is supposed to help you sleep, but I personally find that the peppermint tea works better for me and also I cannot stand the taste of chamomile tea because it's absolutely disgusting to me. I don't know why. It just tastes like dirty water to me. Um, but the peppermint tea, I love, love this. And this was the Celestial Seasonings tea, so I really, really love that. And then, like, when I'm done with the tea bags, um, I put them in a Ziploc bag, and I put them in my, fr my freezer, and I kind of use them on my, um, the bags under my eyes and the dark circles to kind of get rid of that so it has that, um, soothing effect to it if that made any sort of sense <laughs> I don't know I'm, I'm not making sense today because I haven't had any caffeine today and I'm proud of myself but I'm half dead so <laughs> but um 
I hope you guys enjoyed this empties video. If you want to see more, let me know. Um, and if you guys have empties videos, let me know in the comments below and I will check them out. I really like watching um, videos um, about what you guys have used up and if you'll, you know, use them again or if you'll repurchase them. Um, it really does help me when I'm trying, when I'm out there looking for stuff. Um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you later. Bye.